Since the discovery of the telescope, astronomers have made huge steps into understanding the origin of the known cosmos. However, even after so many years, we're finding things in deep space that no one has seen before. On June 26, 2020, something mysterious occurred when four strange objects were identified by the radio telescope Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder. These seem unlike any other astronomical objects ever seen before and ignited a spark of interest in the astronomical and space community. The first three objects were spotted in the depths of space using a pilot survey of a new project called the Evolutionary Map of the Universe while the fourth object was retrieved in archival data which were collected by the giant Meter Wave Radio Telescope in India and helped to confirm that the first three are not just lens anomalies. The object's distance from our solar system is still unknown, but one thing is certain, they're not located in the Milky Way's galactic neighborhood. Each object was calculated at around one arc minute across, keeping in mind that, as seen from Earth, the Sun and Moon both have angular diameters of about 30 arc minutes. The four unidentified objects are highly circular and with bright edges and look like distant ring-shaped islands. Because of their strange shape and peculiarity, they were characterized as odd radio circles or ORCs for short. It seems that ORCs might have different origins. All of them were visible in radio wavelengths, but completely undetectable in visible light, infrared light and X-ray light. Two of them have galaxies at their center, which means that they might have been formed by them, while two of the ORCs might have some kind of interconnection or even the same origin, since they seem to be in close vicinity. There are several possible explanations of what those ORCs might be, but none of them seem to fit perfectly the object's specifications and characteristics. The astronomers already ruled out a description for those ORCs objects like supernovae remnants, planetary nebulas, circumstellar shells, star-forming galaxies, or even the possibility of gravitational lensing. But the EMU survey is just beginning, and astronomers expect it to reveal more unusual objects as the time goes by. Speaking of strange space objects and unsolved mysteries, we don't need to go very far to find a celestial body to draw the astronomer's attention. If we look inside our very own solar system backyard, we will find Homea, a dwarf planet which is found in the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune's orbit. Why is it a strange planet, you're asking? Well, a day in Homea lasts only four Earth hours, making it the fastest rotating large object of our solar system. Actually, it's rotating so fast that scientists argue that probably this is one of the reasons for Homea's weird shape. This planet is not spherical, as you would expect any planet that respects itself to be, but instead looks a bit more like a football, since it's more or less twice as long in one direction as it is in the other. Homea is 10 times smaller than Earth, with a radius of about 385 miles, and has two moons, Namaka and Hiaka. Due to its distance from the Sun, almost 43 times Earth's distance from it. One orbital period is approximately 282 Earth years. But a recent discovery made Haumea an even more interesting space object. It appears that this hobbit-sized planet's equator is encircled by a 43-mile wide ring of debris located about 620 miles from its surface. This discovery, in combination with Haumea's unusual features and the trajectories of several Kuiper Belt free-roaming objects, gave the astronomers a very good indication of what happened with this dwarf planet. According to a mathematical model, it looks like that a large Kuiper Belt object smacked at some point the younger and larger Haumea. The dwarf planet's ring and moons seem to be fragments of that collision, which also seems responsible for its fast-paced rotation. This is still a theory regarding Haumea's, but seems to fit the bill very closely. If we go a bit further, just a mere 20 light years away from us, we can find the planet SIMP0136 on the constellation of Pisces. This planet has given the scientists a good head scratching, since it was discovered to have such a strong magnetic field that in an imaginary arm wrestling competition with Jupiter, SIMP 013 would win as if it was wrestling against an ant. You see, it has a magnetic field more than 200 times stronger than Jupiter's, which, as a reference point, 
has 16 to 54 times stronger magnetic field than the Earth. The planet forms the most spectacular auras, and astronomers don't really know the reason behind this, but hopefully we'll know in the near future. Furthermore, this planet is of even greater interest to the scientists because it's exactly at the boundary between a planet and a brown dwarf, or as it's also called, a failed star. This characterization means that this planet is quite large, at about 12.7 times the mass of our solar system's biggest planet, Jupiter, but not quite large to fuse hydrogen in the way stars do. Under further investigation, it was discovered that SIMP0136 is actually a youngster brown dwarf of only 200 million years of age and is traveling the cosmos on its own without an orbit around a star. The scientists hope that SIMP0136 will give them answers regarding the magnetic dynamo mechanisms of planets beyond our solar system and that with the help of their radio telescopes, they'll discover more planets with such distinctive auras. One of the greatest problems in cosmology is that of dark matter. Well, this has nothing to do with black particles or any sinister type of material that destroys celestial objects. Dark matter, or as we initially called missing matter, is a type of material that cannot absorb, reflect, or emit light and cannot be detected by observing electromagnetic radiation. This means that it's extremely difficult to detect, and astronomers can only identify it by observing the gravitational effects that it has on other visible objects. One of the leading theories is that dark matter is made up of some new kind of subatomic particle that we haven't discovered yet. Even though undetectable, dark matter is extremely essential since it acts as the glue that keeps the visible matter of all known galaxies together. Astronomers estimate that dark matter accounts for 85% of the matter in the universe and about 25% of its total mass energy density. This is a lot, and it means that dark matter exists almost everywhere. Keep that thought for a second. In 2018, a team of astronomers announced that they have discovered the first known galaxy which contained an amazingly low amount of dark matter, almost zero. Its name? NGC 1052 DF2, or the more convenient DF2. This 10 billion years old galaxy is 6.5 million light years away from our solar system and is more or less the same size as our Milky Way, but contains 200 times fewer stars. Because of that, DF2 is classified as an ultra-diffuse galaxy, meaning it has low luminosity and detectability. How did the scientists find out that DF2 has very little levels of dark matter? Well, we said that dark matter affects the movement of planets and other celestial objects. We know it's there, because without it, there's no way of explaining the trajectories and velocities of planets and stars. This did not seem to be the case with DF2 and several star clusters inside it are moving at speeds in line with only the mass of the observable normal matter. After close inspection, it seems that DF2 contains at best 1 400th the amount of dark matter that astronomers had expected it to have. One other reason that constituted DF2 as an oddball galaxy is its shape. It doesn't have a noticeable central region or any of the characteristics of a spiral galaxy such as spiral arms or a disk. It doesn't look like an elliptical galaxy either, and there's no evidence that DF2 has a central black hole, just a stellar halo and several globular clusters. Everything about this galaxy seems strange and cannot be explained by any of the modern theories. The same team of astronomers quickly discovered another galaxy that shares the same bizarre nature in terms of low concentration in dark matter, with the name NGC 1052 DF4, or DF4 for short. Every galaxy we knew about before has dark matter, so you understand that these kinds of discoveries are a breakthrough that might help us understand the way dark matter-less galaxies work and get a firmer grip of the mysteries of the cosmos. In 2018, a dwarf galaxy nicknamed Bedin-1 was discovered in our Milky Way's space backyard just 30 million light-years away from our doorstep. As a reference point, the whole observable universe is a humongous 93 billion light-years across, so you understand that this is extremely close to us. Bedin-1 is characterized as a dwarf spheroidal galaxy because of its small size, low luminosity, lack of dust, and its old stellar populations. However, this newly found galaxy is special in so many ways. 
First of all, it's tiny, just 3,000 light years from side to side. In order to grasp how small this is, think that the Milky Way's famous spiral disk has a diameter of 100,000 light years. Furthermore, Bedin 1 is approximately 2 million light years away from any other bigger galaxy, which makes it the most isolated dwarf galaxy known to man. Lonely isn't a bad thing in the universe. It means that the dwarf galaxy hasn't had any interactions with other galaxies. But the most important is that Bedin 1 is calculated to be as old as the universe itself, more or less 13 billion years of age. And due to its isolation from any other galaxy, Bedin 1 is the equivalent of a living fossil from the early days of the universe. Who knows how many secrets this grandpa of a galaxy hides from us? Only time will tell. When it comes to deep space unanswered mysteries, one thing is for sure, we still have many spectacular things and objects to discover. Now a quick question for you dear viewers. Now that you've seen some of the most strange celestial objects known to man, what do you think is lurking out there waiting for our astronomers to discover? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications to be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching.